Hey, my name is Eric. I want to talk to you today about native lazy loading on the web. Chrome has an experimental uh, implementation of a new feature uh, that'll let you do this without relying on any kind of JavaScript library. And there's a spec proposal out too uh, for how a new feature for the web so you can do native lazy loading of images and iframes actually. Um, so this is my little test page. I just have a simple image on a website. It looks like this. Uh, let's say I want to lazy load it. Well, the first thing I'm going to have to do is open up my Chrome uh, flags section of the preferences. If you just type in Chrome um, colon slash slash flags, you get to this and then search for lazy by default. You just see whatever you have enabled at the top and then the rest of it. Um, but I'm going to type in lazy and I already have it enabled here, but uh, for you, you'll probably have to flip that from default to enabled to explicitly enable that one. So once you have that on, uh, I can go over here, and this is all there is to it. I type lazy load equals on. Uh, and actually to see what's going on, I'm gonna push that image out of the viewport. These are three divs here that all take up the full height of the viewport. They're different colors, so we can see how far up we are. Okay, so I have this. I'm gonna go back over here and uh, reload my test. Uh, oh, I'm going to save this. Reload my test. Okay, so now I'm in this first div, this big red block. Uh, let me pull up my dev tool so we can see what happened here. Um, we loaded the entirety of the HTML, all 368 bytes of it, and then we loaded part of the image. This is a hundred some kilobyte image, and we've loaded two kilobytes of it. You can see here I got a 206 response from the server because Chrome issued a range request for just the first two kilobytes of that uh, image and why it did that. It did that so that it could get the uh, header information from the image, the height and width of it, uh, so that it can lay out the page uh, without, uh, you know, know the intrinsic width and height of the image and, and, and do a full layout uh, before the full image comes through. So that's cool. Uh, I've also been told that if you can actually fit a uh, progressive preview in those first two kilobytes, uh, Chrome will happily paint that too. That is super cool. Uh, I haven't been able to make a progressive JPEG that has a full preview within two kilobytes yet. Still working on that. Uh, but anyway, that's really neat. So now I've loaded the first two kilobytes of this image and then I'm gonna start scrolling. Now I'm in the green, second div, and just as I get into this third div here, the blue, we can see that Chrome went out and grabbed the full image, uh, all 118 kilobytes of it, and I got a 200 response. So now by the time that I get uh, actually to where the image is, it uh, has already loaded. Uh, a lot of lazy loading libraries don't actually start loading the image until it's intersecting with the viewport, uh, which uh, is a very you know uh, performance conservative approach, but sometimes is uh, user experience hostile because you're sort of guaranteed to see uh, the, the, that image in an unloaded state and uh, see the process of it loading in, which can be kind of janky. So the Chrome team is making an explicit effort to try to make this uh, move the needle a little bit uh, and lazy loading towards uh, user experience and away from absolute, you know, don't load it uh, until you need it, but load it just in time before you need it, uh, which I think is cool, uh, especially if, as for a platform level feature, especially if the browser is the one making those decisions. Hopefully they can be really smart about it and sort of get a sense of the network speed, how fast the user is scrolling, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so as you can see right here, we it started loading when I was uh, one viewport away from what the image was. Um, so let's go. Uh, and I think that that's been moving around. They've been moving that boundary. I think the last time I tested this, it was actually two. Anyway, uh, what else do I want to say about this? Okay, so possible uh, values here, I can say on. Uh, interestingly, the default value is actually auto. Uh, I'll talk about that in a minute. And then I can set this to off. Uh, so I have the on and off are pretty clear. What is auto? Uh, so all three of these values are hints to the browser. Um, auto says browser, do whatever you want. On says, hey, I'm the web page author, I want to give you, the browser, a strong hint that you should really lazy load this image. Off says, I want to give you a strong hint that you should not. It's interesting that the default is not off. Uh, it's also interesting that off is not does not mean off in all circumstances. It's not a hard and fast rule that the browser has to follow. Uh, it's a hint. So, you know, if I say off, I really want you, browser, to load this image, but the browser sees that a uh, given user is uh, on a really crappy connection uh, at the end of their data plan, and this image is 20 viewports down the page. Uh, you know, mobile Chrome can still say, "Hey, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna load this," uh, which I think is cool. More 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 power to browsers. They know more about users than we do. They can adapt to individual user circumstances uh, in ways that we, uh, when we're writing the page, often can't. Okay, uh, so this is an experimental feature. Like I said, you have to enable it here in the flag section of Chrome. 
also, uh, it, the, the, this is the issue in Chromium showing development, uh, which is still active, status is assigned, not fixed. Uh, if you go find all the bugs that have been filed on this, there are a lot of them. <laughs> Some of them are pretty bad. Uh, my favorite here, uh, image lazy load flag enabled leads to 3x request count, multiple image downloads, that's bad. Uh, so this is not ready for prime time, but they're working on all this. Uh, there's a ton of closed issues in here too. Uh, under active development. Two hours ago, somebody was working on this. That's cool. Uh, okay, and there is also, in addition to this implementation, a spec uh, proposed uh, change to the HTML specification. Um, it is in this PR here on the HTML spec. Uh, some outstanding issues. Uh, Jake Archibald is requesting some changes. Uh, so definitely some things for the, the team behind this to address before uh, every browser agrees to go ahead with it, or even everyone within Chrome agrees that it's a good idea. I uh, haven't dug too deeply into what the problem is here. I uh, hope it can get resolved, because I think this is super cool and long overdue. Okay, thanks so much. Bye.